Kasturi Munira Thinnam used to be the family breadwinner. Her elderly husband has a lung problem and has never worked. Her son Mohan suffered an industrial accident a few years ago which has prevented him from working. Earlier this year, Kasturi became desperate to find work to make ends meet. <laughs> There are more than a million Indians currently working in Saudi Arabia, including thousands of domestic workers. Agencies match workers with families who sponsor their visas and must give consent for their employees to change jobs or leave the country. Kasturi, who spoke no Arabic, was sent to a family in Riyadh who took her passport from her when she arrived. <laughs> After two months in Riyadh, Kasturi's employers told her one evening that they would send her to the police station to be imprisoned. <laughs> But the driver was away from the house when Kasturi arrived. A spokesman for the Riyadh police told reporters that Kasturi, seen here in a Saudi hospital, was suffering from mental disturbances and had severed her own arm while falling during an escape attempt. The Indian government has launched its own investigation into the attack and has paid Kasturi compensation, but she wants reparations from her former employers who've not faced charges. <laughs> The case has also highlighted concerns about the treatment of domestic workers in Saudi Arabia. The Indonesian government banned migration to the kingdom for domestic work in 2011. Kasturi would like the Indian government to do the same.